hey hey y'all my name is tiffany welcome back to my channel thank you for joining me today it has been a minute since i've been before you all hey how you doing hope you're all well um hope everybody is doing wonderful on whatever day that you're watching this this video i'm going to be talking about some low points that i had during my job search and we're kind of gonna get into the low points and then I'm gonna talk about how I went through and went to the high points of it all. This is just like personally what I went through, um, you know, these last few months when I'm on my job search and we're gonna get into it. It's no secret that job searching is not a cakewalk. It's very difficult and especially when you have other responsibilities and other things that are happening in your life, it can get really tough. So let's take a look into my story and then hopefully to motivate you while you're on your journey or just kind of give you some more insight into where I'm at in my journey. So let's go, let's get into it. So when I was laid off um, last year in November, I really felt like I had to hurry up, find another job. Um, for context, ever since my first job out of college, I've been working and even when I was laid off, I was like actively job searching and I really didn't take a break. I was just like, I have to find a job. And so when I first got laid off, I was like, I must go find a job. And as you know, I did like a Twitter post and all these things, you know, and I got some leads and all that. So that was November and December. And I followed up on those leads that felt like they were a good fit and then holidays happen and i will tell you usually the last few years for me you know holidays are very like in general holidays are very important for me and my family but the last few years like i've been like really like calm down during the holidays i'm not doing anything um and so i just like to relax and regroup it's also around the time of my birthday. So I also reflect, I do a lot of reflecting and all those things. And so I actually took some time to do that amidst me interviewing. And by January, I was like, you know what? After really thinking about things, I was like, I don't want to rush. I don't want to rush and just find a job right now. I, I don't want to do that. And so it was very weird for me because again, I've always had a job. And so I was like, it feels very selfish of me to say, I don't want to find a job. Like that sounds like a very selfish thing to say, but I will say I was fortunate enough financially to be able to say, I can do that. And you know, even still, like my sister had to say, you know, both of them, they were like, Tiffany, you can take a break. And I was like, no, I can't take a break. And so uh, when I finally did realize I could, it was January, like the beginning of January. I just got out of my reflection. I told you just relaxation and, you know, just working on personal things I wanted to work on. Um, and then um, in January, I really focused more on the things that I wanted to focus on. So for me, that was like my YouTube channel. I don't know if you noticed, but like January and all, you know, February, some of March, I was like really going hard on YouTube. I was really doing good with my social media. I was like really zeroed in on those things. I was really uh, building up my brand and coming up with content and scheduling content and all these things. I was really in it and that's because that was my main focus during that time i was like wanting to do better with those things and i did i really did focus on that i focused on some consulting that i did for a little bit it was fun and so i really wanted to do the things to just to see like what i wanted to do because eventually i do want to do more consulting and I would love to talk to you all about your journey into tech or your journey in tech right now. Like, what are you doing? What are you trying? What do you need help with? You know, I want to be a resource for you all there. And so um, it really took, uh, it was really nice to take that time to do that. I also knew during that time, even though it was great to take a break, I knew that I did not feel like job hunting. I was just like no energy for job searching. It's like, oh, I have to go find a job. Ugh. It was exhausting, but I knew at the same time that I needed to do that. And I think the exhausting part for me was like, I have to figure out algorithms and data structures. And I just didn't feel like it at the time. I'm gonna be honest with you. 
I wasn't interested. You know, I was like, no, I don't want an algorithm and data structure. Like, I don't want to. Why do we do this? Like, <laughs> like in my head, I'm like, why? Why are we doing this? I don't feel like doing this. This is not going to help me right now. I'd rather be building things. And um, it was just kind of just an overall just like, oh, I don't want to. And that also played a big part in my job searching process is because I felt like I wasn't I wasn't motivated and if you've been following along with my newsletter letters at all I have written a newsletter that's like I don't I'm not motivated I don't feel like it you know and so I'm I'm try to be as, as transparent across my platforms as possible and so I'm at this is that moment right now for me just I wasn't in, in a good space to be looking for a job and I didn't, I don't know if you noticed, but I didn't put in any kind of videos about like my job searching progress or any of it. I just didn't want to focus on it anymore. I wanted to focus on other things. I wanted to move past that, but I wasn't, I didn't have the job yet, but I was just like, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to get to the point where I have a job and then I could talk about what I want to talk about. So I just started talking about the things that were important to me and the things that I wanted to do more of. And that's what I did. Um, so after that break, that time, like January, some of February of taking off, I dove back into my job search. Um, and I thought I caught a break. I was like, okay, I, I got, I did this interview with this company. It's very big company. I was like, I got this job. Yes. Ugh. Only to find out that they were no longer hiring for this job. This job was miraculously now unavailable it got sent an automated email that they were not hiring for this job any longer um, and it wasn't an email that it had been filled it was an email that says we are no this is no longer a priority to be hiring for this position and I was like oh no so I was very sad because I was here I was final interviews and I was so proud of myself for getting there and then it's like nope we're not even gonna be hiring anymore for this. And I'm like, oh, so it was very frustrating. And so that also caused me to take a step back too. Cause I was just like, oh, this is disappointing. It's like, I feel like I'm getting somewhere and I'm not. And it was very frustrating for me. So I was like, you know, I gotta keep going. I can't stop just because they aren't hiring anymore. There's other people that are. So I kind of got back on it and um, I was like, all right, let's, let's try to reset. Not even like a week later, <laughs> the snowstorm, the winter snow apocalyptic thing came through Texas. Um, so those who don't know, I live in Texas and um, I was like, what is this snow? Like the first day of the snow, I'm like, oh, look at this snow. Like I took a photo. I was like, this is nice. And then it, it stayed and I was like, well, what? What, what is this? And then my lights went out and I was like, oh, heck no. You know, which means no heat. And I was like, I don't like this. Uh, when's the snow leaving? And so I was just not a fan. I was ready for it to be over. I spent the night with no electricity and I kept pretty warm, but um, I had gotten wind that if you didn't have electricity by morning, then you weren't gonna have it. And I was like, oh no, I can't sit here with no electricity. I'm also getting hungry. Um, but I was fortunate enough to have family that's not too far from me, um, which is another reason why I like to be around family. So <laughs> to live around family rather. Um, but yes, a shout out to my brother for coming to rescue me. Thank you, big bro. <laughs> they were on a grid that had like a hospital or something near it. I don't know. All I know is their lights never went off and their, uh, and their water never went off. And so I went over and I spent a couple days with them and then I ended up coming back here to my apartment and then everything was fine and dandy. And I was like, oh, thank God that everything is okay here. So um, after that, I was kind of still in a funk. I had a couple of interviews but um, that I had to you know, reschedule and everyone was very helpful with me rescheduling those things and whatever. And so I was very grateful for that. But you know, after that week of all of the winter storm business, I was kind of, okay, let me reset, let me get back into it. But it was kind of still hard to focus on it because I was just like, oh, I really don't feel like doing this. And it was just exhausting. <sighs> I had to continue, but I mean, I didn't have a choice. So it's, it's really hard to like push through sometimes when you don't feel like it and you're forcing yourself to do it. So I had to keep telling myself, you have no choice. 
you have no choice. And then I made a deadline for myself. I told myself, okay, by June, I need to find a job. And so, and I needed, and I knew that in order to meet that goal, I was gonna have to focus and I was gonna have to do some things I didn't wanna do, studying for things, you know, reaching out to people and all this other stuff that I didn't feel like doing that I tell y'all to do, but I know that it's hard because I've been through it and I know that it's tough to do it, but you have to continue to, to find some glimmer of hope somewhere to keep going. So um, I saw people on social media that were like, I got a new job, I got a new job. I thought, and I'm like, uh, but I was also happy for them, but I was like, where's my job? Where's that at for me? And so that was also a motivating factor because I wanted to one day say, I got a job and like this job searching thing is over and like rip up all the job searching stuff. Like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I was like, I'm ready for this to be over. But at this point it's March and um, I was like, this is when I started to create the deadline for myself. This is when I started to become motivated from others getting employment. And I said, okay, let me just start, you know, re-reviewing my resume. Let me start working on algorithms again. And this time it was really tough to really focus on algorithms and stuff because some interviews I was interviewing for PHP, some interviews I was doing Python. And I kept, I was like, oh gosh, I hope I don't get things confused. I kid you not, in one interview, I was like, how do I do a for loop in PHP? I forgot. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I was, it was so many things because I was applying to this job and that job and this job and this job. And it wasn't because I had to apply to all these jobs. It was because they all genuinely looked interesting. I was like, oh, I can do this. This looks interesting. Let me try this out. I wouldn't mind doing this. And so that's another thing is you have to stay focused on the things that you want. Like, what are the things in your job search that you want, right? And also you gotta focus on like, what companies do you wanna work for? What kind of culture are you looking for? I've talked about all these things in other videos, but I bring it up again because it's it becomes important when you are definitely at a point where you feel you're at a low point with this job searching, but you have to move forward. You have to continue to remind yourself of the positive things. So of the things that you want, the things that you want to go after and all those things. So that's why I bring it up again is because of the importance of it in terms of your job searching. It was, it was tough, but in the end, all those low points, you know, burning out, feeling discouraged, like, you know, I didn't want to continue at times. I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. I just wish I didn't have to. And there was a lot of points where I was just like, I just don't want to do this. Um, but you have to remember, like, um, you got to rest yourself. You have to get some rest for yourself. You have to do things for yourself. You also have to even that out with studying, with um, looking over your resume, with networking and all those other things. So, um if you are on your job search right now, I encourage you to keep going. You can do this. I know for a fact that you can do this. It's tough. If you need like someone that can encourage you or anything of the like, reach out to me. I'm all over the social medias. I try to respond back as quickly as I can when I see them. So please reach out if you need any sort of encouragement or whatever the case may be. And if you don't wanna to talk to me, go talk to somebody, please. Because we we could do this, but we need each other. We gotta keep each other lifted up. It's, you have to do it. I do really much appreciate you all for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And um, you know I will see you in the next video. Very great to see all of y'all. And I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye.